Newly sequenced DNA from North Atlantic blue whales showed that they have been breeding with other whale species, including the hybrid offspring. Welcome back to Tea of the Sea, and blue whales are the largest animals to exist on the planet today, and possibly in life's history, with the average length of blue whales being around 85 to 90 feet long, and weighing up to around 180 tons. Once incredibly populous throughout all of the Earth's oceans, blue whale populations plummeted during the 20th century whaling years, and are only now really beginning to recover, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. And while while the whole species is found worldwide, they are divided into four different subspecies, and the one subspecies that is most at risk is the northern blue whale found in the North Pacific and North Atlantic. Which does make sense, as European colonizers made their way into and through the Americas, whaling followed them from the Atlantic, where it was already really prevalent, into the Pacific, where it took its toll there. And due to their large size, slow reproductive cycle, and longevity in lifespan, Large whale populations have been slow to recover. Some smaller species like gray whales and humpback whales have done incredibly well. The larger species like fin and blue whales have overall struggled but are on an upward trend. But there was some concern regarding the population recoveries of larger whales like fin whales and blue whales, mainly in the form of inbreeding. And a new study that was published back on January 6th this year was looking into the possibility of high inbreeding levels in the North Atlantic blue whale population. To find out if inbreeding was prevalent in this population, the researchers created a de novo genome sequence, which is created from scratch by piecing together bits of DNA from different individuals. The team then used this new genetic blueprint to further analyze genome sequences of 31 individual blue whales across the North Atlantic population range. And they found two interesting things about this population. The first one is that inbreeding is not actually a huge problem in this population. There was a healthy crossbreeding between the East Atlantic and the West Atlantic subpopulations as they migrated north and south along the coastlines throughout the year. But the second thing that they found was a little bit more interesting. They found that almost all of these blue whales had on average about three and a half percent of DNA from fin whales. Fin whales are the world's second largest whale, averaging around 80 to 85 feet in length worldwide. They're also really closely related to blue whales, splitting from them evolutionarily about eight and a half million years ago. And for quite a while now, scientists have known that fin whales and blue whales are capable of breeding with each other and producing viable offspring known as flu whales. And while flu whales are still incredibly rare hybrids, you can kind of tell when you're looking at one if you know what to look for. Flu whales tend to look like fin whales on a larger scale with a jaw structure and coloration more similar to blue whales. Until recently, it was assumed that these flu whale hybrids were infertile. They were not able to successfully reproduce and produce their own offspring. But that changed in 2018 when a study revealed that at least some of these hybrids were capable of reproducing and were doing so with blue whales. The researchers now believe that these hybrids are reproducing with blue whales, creating a back-crossed blue whale with some fin whale DNA. This process of DNA transfer through this type of interbreeding is known as introgression. Since researchers have known about this since 2018, this current team was expecting to find some fin whale DNA in the North Atlantic blue whale population. What they didn't expect to find was so much fin whale DNA. And even more interestingly, similar studies performed with fin whales have found that they are not experiencing this introgression from the fertile hybrids. There is no blue whale DNA in the North Atlantic fin whale population. So this introgression is unilateral. It is only happening with these hybrids and the blue whale population. And there is also little evidence suggesting that this introgression is happening elsewhere. It seems to only be happening in the North Atlantic. While there are flu whale hybrids present in the North Pacific, they are even more rare than in the North Atlantic, and as I said, the introgression doesn't appear to be happening. Now, while this introgression isn't really a big deal, it can potentially become a problem in the future if more and more fin whale DNA is added to the blue whale population. Having blue whales that share similar, if not the same, fin whale DNA 
can result in the overall population being more susceptible to changes like human-caused climate change. But as of right now, the level of fin whale DNA in the North Atlantic blue whale population is still incredibly low and is not really a huge problem. And as the population continues to recover, I would imagine that we won't really see a whole lot more fin whale DNA added into the blue whale genome. More studies will need to be done to determine if the fin whale DNA is going to be a problem. But for right now, it doesn't appear to be. And with the threat of inbreeding that the study originally was looking at not being a problem, hopefully the blue whale population in the North Atlantic can continue to steadily and healthily recover and achieve a sustainable population once again.